You know, I was wrong. You two aren't mad. You are complete imbeciles. Just give us a minute, will you? No, absolutely not. Please, Gareth, help us out here. How nice of you both to forget it was only a week ago when you threatened my life. That was a misunderstanding. Are you seriously trying to tell me that Ominous trying to ram a potion down my throat was a misunderstanding? I mean, it was kind of hot. Shut it, Sebastian. Gareth, that was foolish of me, and for that I apologize. But we truly need your help. And why would I do that? You made it abundantly clear to keep my distance. She's in trouble. Real trouble. We have good reason to believe she has been kidnapped. What in the world? I thought she was just skipping potions. She's been gone since yesterday. So we need to act fast. We need your help in creating an antidote to a love potion. Hold on a tick. What do you mean, love potion? Seems like Everett got his hands on some. Long story short, we don't have a lead yet where he is, but we do know we will need the antidote to get her back. <sighs> of all the... Wait, is that why Sharp thinks I raided his closet? That rat! You know what? Fine. Give me a minute. Thank you, Gareth. Don't thank me yet. You two owe me a big favour, and you can't go back on it, understand? Fine, whatever. Whatever you want. I will hold you both to that. This isn't over, you know. I really liked her once. I didn't love her. But I could have. I know. Feel free to hate us all you want. It is only fair. Oh, that's for later. For now, take this letter and bag to Imelda. No promises, but she does owe me a favour. Whoa, Imelda. Didn't know the two of you were close. Yeah, well, she's the only one out of you Slytherin lot that isn't trying to kill me, so she gets a pass. Huh, I'll remember that one for your wedding. Ignore him. Anyway, thank you again. We will keep you posted. Sure. Tell her I say hi. Uh, those two have no idea what they've gotten themselves into. Hell hath no fury like an Imelda scorned.